In his 50-year career, photographer Neil Slavin has taken pictures for Esquire, Rolling Stone, and Oprah magazines, among many. But he's best known for his group portraits, images of people gathered with their tribe, their class, or their club. And a new retrospective of Slavin's work shows what a powerful portrait it is of all of us. What happens when a group of people come together for a photograph? The first thing that happens, it's a commemoration mm -hmm. of some kind. But when an organization or a club gets together for a picture, it's a celebration. Just reshot the same picture. Neil Slavin has been photographing groups for more than four decades. This is his portrait of the custodial staff at Stonehenge, a group of pug owners in New York, the masseuses at the Elizabeth Arden Salon. At New York's Lawrence Miller Gallery, the centerpiece of the new exhibition, Neil Slavin, a 40-year chronicle of groups and gatherings. The sabrette is so simple. Is a portrait really of New York hot dog simple. vendors. I love the four faces yeah. of these men. One thing I love about this photograph is you probably would never take those four faces and put them together in any other circumstance. No, no. <laughs> they sell hot dogs. Yeah. That's their togetherness. <laughs> Many of his pictures have been taken with a giant 20 by 24 inch Polaroid camera. He started focusing on the subject in 1973. Just something about it just struck me. And I said, I gotta do this. His first shot, the International Twins Association in Muncie, Indiana. And after that picture, that was it. That really clinched it for me, you know. <laughs> so people say they're funny, they're quirky, yeah. they're filled with humor. For me, they're filled more with sociology. So this is the Electrolux vacuum cleaner sales convention photographed in the grand ballroom of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. 1974. In order to be invited to the convention yeah. and get to wear a blue jacket, you have had to, at that time, have sold $50,000 worth of vacuum cleaners. Wow. As you notice, all the wives are seated. Yes. And so, again, Anthony, it's a sociological document like a time capsule of how we felt at that time. A lot of work goes into each picture. We photographed the New York Stock Exchange in back of you. We worked 14 hours just lighting it. I had something like five minutes or less to photograph them just before the bell rang. Yeah. And somehow we got it. You can't make a moment like this happen. You can't. This only happened in one frame. One frame. It happened the day he shot a group of zookeepers in Britain. Suddenly, the elephant just put his trunk down and gave him a kiss on his cheek. And I saw it. I said, I can't believe it. And I just pressed the button. And you've continued to do this throughout your career? <laughs> um, after I finish each series, yeah. I say no more. But again and again, Neil Slavin has been drawn back to how we look when we gather in groups. I think it's a very affirming uh, experience just to look at all these groups right. and you get this feeling of this is humanity. This show uh, runs till the end of the year. Um, and New York Times called it one of the four not to miss photography shows in the city this season. So if you're around, you really should catch it. It's so cool because, you know, he, while he picks the locations, he never arranges the people. He lets them yeah, arrange it's, themselves. It's humanity au natural. And the hierarchy is entirely natural in each photograph. Very cool.